Did you know that you can accept recurring payments with JotForm? Let me show you how. Hey JotFormers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly and as you can see, I am already in a form on my desktop. So the first thing we need to do in order to start these recurring subscriptions is we need to add a payment gateway. So over on the left hand side where it says add form element, we're going to choose that middle tab for payments and we need to choose which payment gateway we want. Now keep in mind, not all payment gateways are going to allow subscriptions. So it's going to be a trial and error on your part. But for this example, I'm going to use PayPal personal and the test to see whether or not your payment gateway is going to allow for subscriptions is once it opens on the right hand side, the integration panel where it says payment type, it's going to automatically populate on sell products. But if you choose this and it has sell subscriptions, you are in business. So I'm going to go ahead and choose sell subscriptions and I'll enter in my email so we can continue. And next we're gonna create our first subscription option. So let's go ahead and click on that plus option. Let's go ahead and name our product. And I'm going to make mine a monthly mystery box type of subscription. And we'll do the price being, we'll do $30. We'd add a description of course. Next, we're gonna choose our subscription period. How often do we want these payments to happen? It's gonna automatically populate on a monthly, but we can choose from any of these all the way from daily to bi-yearly. So for this example, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it on monthly. And then we also have a number of payments. We have from no limit all the way up to 52. So let's go ahead and click out of this. No limit is fine for this. You'll definitely want to add an image. But down here at the bottom, this is where you can really customize these recurring payments to your liking. So the first one is going to be variable price. So if you would like your customers or your users to set their price, you can turn this on. Now keep in mind, in order to utilize the variable price to let your customers define that price, if we turn it on, it lets us know that we need to be using the form calculation widget. So if that is you, definitely head back over here to widgets and add in that form calculation widget. But for this, I want them to pay $30, correct? So let's go ahead and turn that off. Next, we can set a custom first payment option. So let's say for example, because they've signed up for these recurring payments, we want to give them a discount off their first monthly box. So we can turn this on and we can say the first monthly payment is we'll say $10 off their first box. Now something else that we can do if we maybe don't want to do a discount, we want to give them a trial period. We can do that as well right here, set trial period and we can define that time period. We can choose none, one days all the way up to a year trial. And again, you get to choose what that looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and choose none for this. And then we can also select this as a default. So if you're going to be offering multiple subscription options, if we want this monthly box to be the default, we can choose that right here. So we can go ahead and save. And here we go, we have $20 for the first one and then $30 a month after that. But it's as simple as that. If you have any questions about how to set up your recurring subscription payments, let us know down below in the comments. If you like this video and you got some value, hit that like button down below and don't forget to subscribe and turn on that bell so you get a notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.